Can you see that rocking there? It's a piece of junk! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't seen the last video on the Ransoms project, make sure you go and check that out. But we're going to be removing the gearbox today and then getting it ready for blasting and then painting, hopefully. So it might look like the shaft's damaged, but it shouldn't be because I've protected it. But um, I got the outer race of balls out of the bearing. And now I'm just going to take the, um, the sort of inside race off. I used my die grinder, just ground a little groove there so I can get the ball bearings out between them. So now, hopefully, it will come out. Oh, so I still need to get that off of there, but that shouldn't be too bad now because I can lift the whole shaft out now. One eternity later. So if you watched the end of my last video, and if you haven't, make sure you go and watch it. You see that I got my ransoms back. Um, all of the sort of bigger bits over here are blasted and painted. I've also just bought a blast cabinet myself um, to go along with my degreasing stuff. And so I'm going to just, in this sort of segment, I'm going to get on with degreasing and then um, you know, like blasting and priming, uh, ready to start assembling everything. I've got all of the sort of drive housings cleaned up. I'm going to throw them in the blaster now and blast them off. So all messing about aside, I've prepped all of the alley pieces I want to paint, which is basically everything for the chassis. Um, I've got obviously the engine to do later on, but I've uh, masked up the bits that I need to mask up. Uh, I've got some etch primer here from Withams, so I'm going to just prime everything. I can then assemble everything and then paint it all, in, all whole once it's finished. So I've got all of the alley bits primed with etch primer from Withams. Um, it went on quite well, uh, so I need to just take the masking tape off and clean these off now. So before I assemble any of this, I need to clean the gasket surfaces down. And for that, I've got these Rolock, um, these little Rolock things. So they just kind of take any high off, really. So one of the last few things to take apart is this gearbox sort of shaft, or the drive shaft. Uh, I don't even know what you'd call it, the gearbox, essentially. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just strip this down. I need to get the bearings off to 
be able to get new bearings and then hopefully once I've stripped this I'll clean it all and next week we should have all new bearings for it so let's get on with it So Bearing Boys have supplied all of that to help do this restoration, but that's not all. Look at this one, another box of it. So in each bag I put the original seals and they have then just put the new seals, the new replacement seals in the bags for me. Uh, most of the seals I've got R23, which have got a wiper on them, um, wherever possible. So. That will prevent any dirt and stuff going into them, hopefully. So this is one of the final pieces to go back in on the PTO gearbox. Um, this puts the drive through to the main gearbox and the engine connects to here. What I didn't realise however when I was taking it apart was that the bearing face and the seal face were two different dimensions and as I used a bearing separator it clamped in and it scored the sealing face. Um, now it's quite pitted anyway as you can see so something needed doing so it's not the end of the world but what I've done is I've got a speedy sleeve, SKF speedy sleeve here from Bearing Boys. Um, here's the sleeve itself and this is the tool. Now obviously I can't use that tool to fit it because I'd have to drill a hole in it which would weaken it. So I've got a sleeve here from my, from my sort of bearing kit and I'm going to put that in there and push it on. Um, and I'm also going to put some Loctite 603 on to stop it from uh, leaking by, by those bits there. So just to finish this PTO gearbox off, there's a little latch that helps keep it in or out of engaging the PTO. So first things first, there's a little ball bearing that goes in. Then there's a little spring. So now with the spring in, you can hear it locate. So that's basically the PTO gearbox done now. So using a bit of creativity, I managed to get this off of that bearing. Uh, I used this bit of old rail, a couple of parallels and a dead blow mallet and I just managed to get it off without damaging anything so that's good. So now I'm going to press this bearing out and press the new one back in and then press it onto that. I'm going to install them so that the bearing numbers are at the top like that so that if someone in the future, maybe a hundred years from now, needs new bearings, they can 
find them without having to completely destroy the bearing or take the bearing out to get to it. Not a clue how tight this should be, so I'm just going to go back on like I took it off with the impact. They, they uh, have centre punched the end of the thread there as well to lock it, so I'll redo that as well. So very frustratingly, I forgot to order a seal for this sort of cap for there. It's not actually clean yet, so I don't want to put it on there, but I can't fully assemble everything I wanted to. So what I'm going to do is, I've just cleaned this up. Um, this is sort of what allows it to select forward and reverse and it goes on like that and it basically just slides up and down. So I'm going to assemble everything I can for the minute. So this is my original gearbox or some of the bits and this is one I've bought off someone off the forum. Now unfortunately when I stripped it down I found, I'm not sure if you can see, but these oilways that are in there, see the sort of um, the, the cut into it, that's an oilway and they're quite well worn. It's not the oilways but you can see all the scoring. Now I also noticed on these shafts that they go onto, can you see the, the scoring on there? and it's only worn on one side. They've got about a millimetre of play on one side. That one mil of play, you can actually see, can you see that rocking there? It's a piece of junk. Um, I think this one's in better, the gears are in better condition, but it's got more play in it than my one, um, or it looks to have more play in it than my one. So to fix this, handily, I found that they're just a standard size bush. Now, I got, Aaron sent me six of them from Bearing Boys um, and uh, I've got a couple of spares in case I mess them up when cutting the, the, um, the oilways. Now I'm, my plan is to try and cut the oilways first and then, it, and then press them into these um, gears. Uh, but then I've got three bits of silver steel here just in case I make a mistake. But I, I just need to turn down this dimension, tap the end and this dimension and tap the end. Uh, and then basically it sort of renews that part of the gearbox. That seems to be the only real issue with this gearbox I've found. Um, some of the bits are slightly better on this one, so I am going to swap bits over and make one really good one out of the two, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna get on now with making these. set up a stop here so I'm just going to go to zero every time on that and what I was sort of thinking with this is because I centre drilled that um, there's more than enough room there so if I stop there I can do one final clean up and then I'll come back and I'll do this side and I'll run it up to sort of make the width there then So 
I just parted off the final shaft. So I'm gonna to have to call an end to this video because my die broke, obviously self-assembly required now. I did however manage to get the two shafts made. I did make the third one, but the third one was when it broke. So I need to get some more tooling next week and then I can finish these off. So I'd have liked to have made a lot more progress in this video, but obviously things have gone wrong and it's just stuff out of my control really. So hopefully in the next video, we'll see a lot faster progress. Also, if you haven't already noticed, I finally designed some merch. So if you want to pick one up for yourself, head over to lordmuckshop.com. We listed them over there because uh, it's a bit easier. But yeah, if you want to pick one up for yourself, your family, your friends, or everyone you know for that matter, it all helps. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.